Hey guys, Chris here with Phantom Buster. And in this video, we're gonna look at a brand new flow called Sales Navigator Search to Lead Outreach. With this new flow, you'll be able to extract Sales Navigator users from a search, auto-connect with them, and then send follow-up messages to those who accept your connection request. All right, let's get started. All right, so to get started using this flow, we wanna head on over to phantombuster.com. Then I'm gonna click on Browse Phantoms. Next, I wanna to go to the left-hand margin and click on LinkedIn. Then I'm gonna scroll down to the Sales Navigator Search to LinkedIn Outreach. Now, if I click on the title, I'll be sent to the Flow Overview page where I'll get a breakdown of exactly how to set up this flow. And if I click on the Tutorial tab, I'll get a step-by-step -step of exactly how to set up this flow for your lead generation purposes. All right, so let's go ahead and click on Use This Flow. So you should already have the Phantom Buster Chrome extension installed on your browser. So as long as you're logged into LinkedIn, all you need to do is click on Connect to LinkedIn, then click Save. Now here's where you wanna tell the Phantom which profiles you wanna invite. So you have a number of options here. You can do a URL of a single Sales Navigator lead search, or you can do the URL of a Google Sheet containing a list of Sales Navigator lead search URLs. You can also use a CSV file. Just make sure that the CSV or Google Sheets are publicly accessible. Next, you have a series of advanced settings. You can choose the number of profiles to extract per search, so Sales Navigator only displays the first 2,500 results of a people search. To get more, either alter your search query or use multiple search URLs in a spreadsheet. And if you leave this field empty, the flow will scrape all available profiles. Next is the number of invites to send per day. Now keep in mind LinkedIn recently implemented a limit of 100 invitations per week. To keep within this, the flow will send 20 invitations per working day by default. Keep in mind this flow will process a maximum of 100 profiles per day. Your next option is to choose times at which to send the invites and messages. So you have two options here. You can do weekdays during working hours, which is what we recommend, or you can do randomly throughout the day and week. So I'll go ahead and click on weekdays during working hours. And if you're using a spreadsheet with multiple columns, you can tell the flow the name of the column containing the LinkedIn Sales Navigator URLs. And finally, you can use your second Sales Navigator team instead of the first. But everything looks good here and I've already set up a Sales Navigator search, so we'll go ahead and grab that URL. So I've gotten 157 results for this Sales Navigator search. So I'm gonna go up to the top URL, select all, right click and choose copy, and now I'll come back to my input section and I'll right click and choose paste. Everything looks good here, so I'll go ahead and click on save. Now here's where you input the connection message. So you can use a placeholder like pound first name pound to personalize your message by inserting the first name of the person you're adding. And then keep in mind LinkedIn limits you to 300 characters per connection message. So if you're using the pound first name pound tag to personalize it, the length of the names may be longer than the placeholder and increase your character count. And then finally, if you don't want to send a connection message, you just want to send the connection request, you can just leave this field empty. I've already typed up in Notepad a series of messages, and so I'll go ahead and start with the connection request message. So I'll go ahead and select all, right click and choose copy, and then for my invitation message, I'll go ahead and in the input section, right click and choose paste. So I'm saying, hi, first name. It would be great to add you to my network. So everything looks good here, so I'll go ahead and click on save. Now here's where you send your follow-up messages. These are the messages that go out after they've accepted your connection request. So the messages will only be sent if there was no reply from the recipient and if they accepted your connection request. So the first message after connection, I'll go ahead and bring up, hi, first name, thanks for adding me to your network. So I'll select all, right click, choose copy, 
And then in the input section, right click and choose paste. In the drop down menu, you can tell it how long to wait after the connection uh, to send this message. And so I'll go ahead and say one day. So one day after they accept my connection request, this first message will go out. Now let's go ahead and schedule a second follow up message. And again, we'll wait one day to send it out if they don't reply to the first message. And then I'll go back to my notepad and I'll copy the second message that I wanna send them. Select all, say copy. And then in the input section, I'll put paste. And then let's go ahead and schedule a third follow-up message. Uh, but this one I'll leave to go out seven days later. And so go grab my third message, right click, copy. And then in the input section, right click and choose paste. And everything looks good here. So I'll go ahead and click on save. Now here's where you tell the flow, the notification options. You can get notified in case of an error, in case of success or other advanced notification settings. I usually just leave it as none. And then under the advanced settings, you can set up things like proxies and other folder management settings, but everything looks good here. So I'll go ahead and close this and click on save. All right, so now this takes us to our sales navigator search to lead outreach flow overview page. All we need to do to get this flow started is go in at the top and click on enable flow. We're gonna let this run for a few days and come back and see the results. All right, so it's been a few days and our sales navigator search to lead outreach flow has been running. So far, we've collected 934 profiles, we've sent 40 invitations, and we've had 17 people accept our connection requests, and that's a 43% acceptance rate. And then down at the bottom, I can look at the message sequence performance and show how many connection requests went out and how many follow-up messages went out. So the best thing to do is to keep this running just ongoing and it'll constantly send out those 20 invitations per day. And then whenever people accept your connection requests, they'll start sending the follow-up messages until they reply back to you. If I wanna look at all the leads that I've captured, I'll just go to the leads tab and here I can see all of the leads that I've pulled. And then on the right hand side, I can sort by acceptance date and I can see just what date that they accepted my connection request. If you wanna download this data into a spreadsheet, all you need to do is click on download CSV and choose where you wanna save it on your hard drive. Keep in mind, Phantom Buster does all of its work from the cloud. So once you've enabled the flow, you can close the browser and let it do its thing in the background. Every day or so, you should come into the dashboard and check on your flow. And if you go to the dashboard and click on the three dots and click update, Phantom Buster will update all of your statistics in terms of your connection requests accepted and all of the messages that have been sent out. All right, so that's how we set up the Sales Navigator search to lead outreach flow. To get started using this flow, all you need to do is go to phantombuster.com and create your account. Thanks for watching and be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel.